All right, guys, welcome. We are gonna now get logged into nursing.com. I am not gonna show you how to log in. You can figure out how to make your own account. I signed in with my Google account. And today we are gonna talk about the nursing student portion of nrsng.com. I've already been kind of tinkering around with the site, so mine might look a little different because I've already been kind of messing with it. Um, this is my welcome screen. We've got some tabs up the top here, and you'll notice that um, similar to if you watched the pre-nursing student video that I did, similar to that, we have a nursing practice question over here, practice question of the day. This one is a little bit shorter than what we had in the pre-nursing, which was like a long kind of story almost. This one, um, nurses caring for a client whose developmental milestones include gaining independence through establishing a career. Which of the following stages is marked in this milestone? So, um, we're going to go ahead here and we're going to answer this one. All right. So got this one right. Um, it's going to give you rationales below. It's going to give you a lesson that it matches with so that you can kind of watch that uh, message or watch the lesson that goes along with it. And then it's going to tell you like about how other students are doing when they answer this question. You can rate the question, move on to the next one if you so choose. You're also going to see that we have um, the study plan uh, set up down here. Now, I've already got some study plan um, stuff going on in here that I set up in my last video. I'm just going to real quick walk through this. Um, so this was my, let's see, this was my first week study plan. You can create a new study plan, kind of just a quick little breeze through here. You can filter out your study plans by course, and you can see we have a lot of courses to choose from. We've got tons of stuff in here. Teas, HESI, we've got all of our med surge stuff in here, fundamentals for NCLEX, um, lots and lots of content in here. So you can choose by course, you can choose by concept. Again, tons and tons. I can't even imagine how long it took them to get all of this content together. They've got a lot of hands working on this and there's a lot of stuff you can go through. You can also go through by the book. You've got all these ATI books. You've got Potter and Perry, Taylor, Iggy, Lewis, all of the major nursing fundamental books are covered in here. Let's click on Iggy. We've got all these different um, chapters. You can click on these. It will throw these into your personalized lesson plan. So I'm just going to click on a few here. You can also go down here, use pre-made study plans that they've kind of already thrown together for you. I highly recommend looking at these because, like I said, these guys know what they're doing. They're already, look, you've got John's favorite lessons in here. Um, you've got EKG, pediatrics, pharmacology, test taking reviews. You've got all of this. I also want to point out within each of these lessons over here, if you follow my little cursor over here, under each one, it's going to tell you you've got questions, images, cheat sheets, Picmonic. Um, for those of you that don't know what Picmonic is, I didn't because I'm kind of old. <laughs> Picmonic, I don't think existed when I was in nursing school or maybe I was just out of the loop, but Picmonic is a great study resource that I know a lot of nursing students are using now. Um, so go ahead and get on the Picmonic train. That's a resource that I kind of want to learn more about, especially since I tutor students and I want to be able to refer them to it. You can pick your, um, your study plan, or I'm sorry, your study plan name. Um, I'm just going to kind of leave that as my study plan. You can pick the date that you want to set. So like you can set these based on when your test or your quizzes are going to be. You can save your study plan. And then it's going to take you back. And so you've got multiple study plans now. You can make them current. You can share them. 
It'll tell you how many days you have remaining, how many or how much of your study plan you've completed, how well you're doing. So I've created several now. It's it's going to look overwhelming by the time I'm done with all these videos because I'm just randomly clicking on stuff. But you can make these look exactly how you want them to look. You can delete them when you're done with them. This is just a great way to set this up so that it's not so chaotic, so that it's not so random. You can actually organize things based on when your classes are talking about each of these topics. All right, so this is kind of like our dashboard. Now up at the top here, I'm gonna go into courses. Now, unlike the pre-nursing student, this has a little bit more content to it. So we've got ABGs, communication, fundamentals, health assessment. We're starting to see more stuff like IVs, lab values, med surge. I mean, this is a really long list. I mean, look at all the med surge content alone. We've got tons of stuff here. Skills, mnemonics, OB. Um, there's a lot of stuff. And look, pharmacology, we have 266 lessons. Now you're thinking, oh my God, I'm never going to do 266 lessons. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. Because there's so much that you're going to go through in nursing school. This seems like a lot, but you want all of this content. Um, this is paid content, so you want the meat. You want all of this stuff. So if we look through... Up at the top, it's going to tell us all these different instructors that are delivering this material. And you can even click on, and it'll tell you who your instructors are um, and give you a little bit of insight. Now, Nicole is someone that I was also um, following in my early days of nursing school. Her video, How to Read a Textbook Effectively, was one of the first things that I came across as a nursing student. It is like gospel to me for nursing school. I recommend that you find that video, um, Nurse Nicole, How to Read a Textbook Effectively. That content is fantastic and is also, I think, required reading for all nursing students. But that's, that's different content. So here, in these 266 lessons, you have 400 questions, 113 cheat sheets. There are books, picmonics, mnemonics, say that, picmonics, mnemonics five times fast, care plans, images, case studies. There's so much stuff here. So let's look at, let's look at something we haven't looked at yet. Um, what have we got? Let's look at one of the mnemonics because we haven't really looked at one of those yet. So here we are in the lesson. So we've got the video at the top, kind of like we always have. And actually, we haven't really looked at a video in this video. So I'm going to put my earbud in, make sure I don't blast you with a lot of crazy noise here. Let's turn this down a little bit. Let that load. Anyway, while that's loading, so we've got a quiz we can take here. You can print this overview, so if we click show more, we've got kind of like the outline for this video, which you see. All right, when we talk about pharmacokinetics, we're talking about what the body does to a drug from start to finish. So. Okay, so we've got this video. We've got controls here. We can control the speed, the video quality. You can actually turn the quality down if you don't have a lot of um, internet. Um, what am I trying to say? If, if your internet speed is not that great and you want to save a little bit of data, um, you can turn that down. You can add this to your study plan. Check it off if you've mastered this content. Whoops. Not what I meant to do. Okay, um, so we've got the mnemonic here. A-D-M-E, add me. Okay, so we've got a little memory device here that you can use. That's handy to have, good note to take. 140 must-know meds, you've got a book. Oh, so this isn't just like recommendation for a book. You actually have a 154 page book here, guys. Actual books. I didn't realize this. Okay, so I'm learning this too. You actually... <laughs> this is kind of cool. So I'm learning as I'm doing this review. You get a book. There are multiple... How many books did it say to add in here? So you get like a med book, basically. You can make it bigger. 
Is this downloadable? Okay, so you you can look at single page, smart pan, stats. You can increase and reduce the lighting. You can flag a page. Oh, look, you can look at all your pages. Just kind of cool. Thumbnail, search. This is pretty handy, guys. All right, this is pretty rad. I'm into this. Let's close this up. Tight. I didn't know that was here. Okay, you've got your whole video transcript so that if you're in a place where you don't have your headphones or your um, earbuds with you, you can still read the content even if you can't have the volume up. Let's back it up a little bit. Let's see what else we got here. So where was I? I was in pharmacology. So I've looked at cheat sheets under the um, pre-nursing. Let's download this and take a look at this. Oh, this is nice. Okay, so let's flip this around so we can look at it. This is nice. So these you can print, you can download, you can save them to your iPad or your laptop. Um, nice. So this is actually calculating MedMath. So you've got a flow chart. I'm very visual. I love stuff like this. I would be all over this. I would be downloading all of these and using these to study. These are fantastic. I think these are pretty as well. So we've got that. You've got another book. You've got multiple um, cheat sheets here. These are like worth their weight in gold for me. Um, Let's see what else. I want to try to find... Did we have care plans somewhere? Oh, here, we've got 3D anatomy. I want to show you that. I'm excited about that. Okay, and we've got a care plan here. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself because I'm nerding out over this stuff. So first, let's look. We've got a hyperthyroidism care plan. All right, nice. So with these care plans, we've got patho, etiology, which is just where does this all come from? Desired outcomes, what are we trying to achieve for this patient? Subjective data, what is our patient telling us? Objective data, what can we measure? What can we see? What are we doing for them as nurses? And rationales for everything that we're doing. And references, where did we get this information from? All right, so that's pretty great. So if you're doing care plans, look at this. Obviously, you're not going to plagiarize. Don't be taking this information and copying and pasting it. But if you're doing a care plan, you've got these resources. You can make sure you're on the right path. Um, you can use these as a supplement to the books that you're already using for class, Iggy, Potter and Perry, whatever it is that you're using. These are great, great supplements. Okay, so let's look at, don't we have 3D anatomy? I love these 3D anatomies. These are so cool. So let's zoom in. So this one's not as cool, but this is still pretty cool. You can zoom in. You can actually look at the thyroid. Oh, recenter. Let's zoom back in again. So you can actually look at the thyroid gland. You can zoom in, see up close. Um, look, oh, look. Oh, this is so pretty. You can highlight. You can see each individual piece of anatomy. I mean, I'm just clicking on stuff here. You can draw, oh yeah, this was the other cool part. You can draw on this, you can make notes, and then after you've made notes, you can change the color of your notes, make annotations, and then you can actually download all the notes that you've made. So um, this is a great way to not just have the images that are in the book, but to like do all your little scribbles in class, Especially like I have, you know, my iPad and my Apple Pencil, nice way to like mark up your stuff, download it, you've got your notes right there. Um, instead of like writing in your like $400 book or however much books cost these days, they're insane. Um, oh, here, here's one. This is kind of what I was going for. This is the hormone release. So you can see if we zoom in, it's an actual animation of what's happening Will you let me get any closer? There we go. So you can see what's actually happening in the body. You can see the pituitary actually spitting stuff out. <laughs> spitting things out. See, that's, I'm, I'm a nurse. I know these things. Um, but 
I just I just love all this stuff. I'm very visual. Some people are very auditory. You got to know what your style of learning is so that you can really zo um, zoom in on which of these things are going to be the most helpful to you. Okay, so I've kind of beat that to death. So we've kind of gone through all of those. You've got so much good stuff to look through here. And then we've got our cheat sheets tab, which I think just kind of distills it down so that you have everything kind of in one place. Now, right now I have access to all four um, sets of paid content. So pre-nursing, nursing student, NCLEX, and new grad. So I don't know if you're gonna have, this might look a little different to you. I don't know if you have access to all of this all at once, but here I have access to all of these cheat sheets. So we've got our pituitary, I'm just going to click on this one because this is the first one that pops up, but we've got these beautiful cheat sheets. You can print them, download them, get them on your iPad or whatever your tablet device, your phone, whatever. You've got these gorgeous, gorgeous cheat sheets. Oh, so we actually have, these are like legit case studies. So when your teacher gives you or your instructor gives you worksheets and you do all your worksheets and you still feel like you don't understand, you've got more worksheets to do. You've got your case study and your answers. So you can actually work through this stuff, feel like maybe you've had a little extra practice. Nice. All right, let's keep moving. Practice questions. Same setup basically for each of these four sections for nursing students, pre-nursing, and CLEX. And um, I haven't looked at the new grad, so I can't really speak for that. But here we are. We have another setup where you can set yourself to take quizzes. You can set how many questions, what categories you want. You can see how many questions are in each section. You've got some advanced filters down here so that you can actually um, pick the type of questions you want. You can pick your NCLEX categories, so you can maybe focus on sections that are maybe a little bit more difficult for you that you need to work on. So those, <laughs> those select all that apply questions, you might as well start working on those because you are not going to escape them. Question difficulty, um, you can really tailor these questions to really work on the things that you need to work on. You might as well focus on the things that are giving you trouble because you wanna do the best you can make it hard guys test yourselves um really challenge yourselves because that's what's going to get you the best results in the long run and then last tab in this section we've got our study plans this is just an echo of what was on our dashboard it's got its own tab so that you can really focus on these things or, or i think this content is fantastic if i could go back and do it all again i would absolutely be using this I, I was all over the free content as a student. I really feel that this has so much more to give you with the um, the cheat sheets, the 3D kind of visual, um, like the graphic models and uh, the Picmonic. Picmonic is something that I'm like, you young kids, you get all the cool new stuff. Um, the care plans, the cheat sheets, all of that stuff. Why would you wait? Why would you wait? When you are ready to sign up, you can go to my personal link, which is bit.ly slash nu sent me. You can click the link in the box below and get signed up right away. You're not going to regret it. And if anything, you are going to do so much better in school, your NCLEX, whatever it is you set out to do. So thanks for listening and happy nursing, everybody.